Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be using the Tartlet palette by Tarte to achieve this look. It's kind of purpley, everyday, smoky, glam. I don't really know what to call it, but it's a nice everyday look if you want to go day to night. As usual, you guys know from my previous videos how I love doing looks like that. Uh, and it's really easy. The trick with this is to build up the colors the way you want them. Anyway, if you like the look, continue to watch and we're going to jump right into the video. So first, once the skin is all prepped, after we put whatever primer you want, I'm going to use Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation. I've really been testing this out to go to a lot of weddings to really see how it um, takes to my skin and I really liked it so this color is will be listed below I'm applying it using a Sephora airbrush brush just to stipple it into my skin as usual this is not different than my usual foundation routine so I'm just gonna put it all over my face and next I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour cream stick in mink. I really wanted the contour for this look to look really sleek and I chose the mink color because it has purpley undertones which the purple in the eyeshadow that I chose in the Tartlet palette had as well so I just kind of wanted it all to go together and that's why I chose it and I am blending it all in with a toothbrush brush. These are from Neverland Cosmetics. Next is the eyebrows. So I'm just going to start by using a spoolie to brush them up. I know technically you're not supposed to, but I feel like this works for me, so that's what I do. And to fill them in, I'm going to be using Benefit Browsings in shade number six, I believe, but if it's not, I'll link it below. And I use the tool inside of it just to shape a little bit above the bottom and of course use the spoolie as I go for both eyebrows. And that's it. Once that's done, I use the Benefit Brow Gel to set it all in place. I've not been really doing harsh lines for my brows because I don't know, I just haven't been feeling that lately because I like to um, really brush them up on the ends which I'm doing with the gel. I don't know, I've been liking that these days, so that's what I'm doing. For a highlight slash concealer, I'm going in with the NARS concealer. I'll link the kind I'm using below as usual. And I'm just gonna do a normal underneath the eyes, a little swig of the nose um, between my eyebrows and my lip, Cupid's bow area. And then to blend it all in, I'm going to be using the toothbrush brushes. The smaller one from Neverland Cosmetics works really well for me. Then I'm going to set everything with a powder. This one is from Sephora in the shade Matte Tan. And then to set the concealer parts, I'm going to use Kat Von D's Lock It In Powder in Golden. I find this really brightens up my face where I put the highlight or the concealer or basically anywhere you want brightened and I just really like the look and the feel of this powder. Next for the eyes, you know the drill with the soft ochre. We're going to put that on both eyes, really thin layer. Um, I've been trying to really work on making this really even on both my eyes. So um, hopefully I achieve that to get a really even finish on the eyeshadow this time. And today we are going to be using an oldie but a goodie, the Tartlet Palette by Tarte. And I'm going to be using the middle row. Every single color I use is from that row. So to start, I am using the lightest color. It's the bone pink color. And I'm just going to put that all over the soft ochre on both eyes because I want it all blended in nicely. And I find when you coat the soft ochre with the powder, um, it just blends really nicely into the um, other shadows that you're going to put. So the next color over is the color that I'm using here and I'm applying it in the transition zone with a Morphe brush. Again, I will link it below. 
and I took a really long time to blend this because I really wanted the color to be evenly placed and as I said in the beginning of this video I really worked on building up the color and going really slowly so that it didn't look patchy at the end so that's what I did here and I'm just really taking my time to blend it all in and putting a little bit of color um, as little as possible as on the brush and then just kept going and deepening it with the darker color and I did choose to use tape because um, I just wanted the lines really cut really clean and I haven't figured out how to do it without tape yet so this is how we got to do it then I'm going in with a kind of a deeper brush to really pat the co the darkest color in on the corners which is what I'm doing now to get that outer V really dark and smoked out and it really took a long time to build this up a little bit at a time but I was really happy with the end product so I hope you guys will be too. Now I did go in with my Morphe palette because I just wanted a little bit of shimmer. You don't have to do this, you can just use the Tartlet palette for the whole thing, but I just went in with a packing brush and just kind of put that in the inner corners of my eye. And then I switched brushes here because I kind of decided to do make it attempt to do kind of like a half cut crease which I really liked and I liked how it turned out so I just went really careful with the brush and um, yeah I think I'll be using this to do cut creases from now on but if you see here on the inner corner I really liked how it turned out and I t really took my time to blend it out into the darker parts of the outer corners of my eye and the next step after we have completed the other eye with this uh, the same brush, same shimmer color from the Morphe palette. I'm just going to do the inner corners of my eye and I just switched brushes to do that. And so that's a MAC 217 that I'm using to do the inner corners. And then the next step is to do the underneath the eyes and I did take the tape off before. I did the smokiness in the underneath of my eye. And then we're going to put the lashes on, which is my favorite part. These are House of Lashes in Temptress Wispy. And I didn't do a cool edit because I had some major eyelash issues. So, oops. Then we cover it in mascara to make my real lashes blend with them so that you can't see the line. That's why I do it. And I do it on the top and bottom. Then I'm going to use MAC Swiss Chocolate to go in with a deeper contour. And I'm using a Morphe angled brush to do this. And then after this, because I like to be super extra, I'm going to add some blush. This is Peaches by MAC. And I wanted to go more peachy on the lip, which is why I chose this color. So I'm just going to go in with a MAC blush brush. I will, again, link all the brushes that I used in the description box below. And once I'm finished adding the blush, it is time for the highlight. And for the highlighter, I chose um, Tarte Stunner is the shade. And yes, it is by Tarte. And I'm just applying it using a Sephora fan brush. If you want it more in the skin, I would just apply it with fingers. It's really the best way. And then for lips, I'm using Lolita by Kat Von D. Now, when I first applied it, I thought it was a little bit too peachy. So I had to go back in with Huda Beauty in Bombshell to mix it all together. And I did condition my lips with Max Lip Conditioner before doing this because I've got dry lip syndrome again and I always color correct. If you watch my videos from before, you will know that I always color correct with Strip Down by MAC before I apply any sort of lip color. That way the lip color is more true on my skin color and then I know what I'm working with. So here you'll see the Lolita um, and then yeah, I don't know, I'm a, more, I'm a neutral girl at heart and a nude girl at heart. <laughs> Um, so I didn't really love the how peachy this came out so um, this is me using the Huda Beauty to kind of soften it and make it a little bit more nude anyway that is pretty much it guys for the entire look 
this whole thing took me about a half an hour beginning to end so I hope you don't think it's too crazy and that you can't do this type of look it really just takes a little bit of practice especially when you're building up the color which I am myself learning to do and once you kind of have that down it's really just a matter of putting like the blush and highlighter and just the finishing touches on to complete the look anyway I hope you guys really liked it and I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe